Okay, so I'm gonna play Sea of Stars. It's relatively new still. It's it's about a month old. I just haven't gotten around to it. There's just so much out at the moment. And it's one of these titles that I've, I've kept an eye on. If you don't know what it is, it's an RPG game, um, turn-based RPG game. It's in the style of one of my favorite RPG games, which is uh, Chrono Trigger. It also features the music component. Music Composer? Music Composer from Chrono Trigger. Not for the whole soundtrack, but bits and pieces. So, we're going to open up with this, and then later on I'm going to do The Last of Us, which is something that's been asked for for the last three years, I'd say. Sea of Stars has two main characters. Select the one which will lead the party. A monk or a blade dancer. I like monk. Monk was my main class in Diablo 3, so <laughs> let's just stick to the theme of me picking monks. This game looks amazing from a pixel art perspective, so the extra quality here I'm sure is going to be great, so. Welcome to the Great Archives Adventure. I suppose curiosity brought you here. An important trait to be sure. I am the archivist, an immortal versed in the ways of alchemy. But perhaps you knew that already. After spending millennia cataloging the many events of countless timelines, I decided to return here to mull over everything I had seen. In my musings about stories that fill these books and scrolls, I, recent, I had a recent epiphany. It seems that in my haste I may have overlooked the very thing I was hoping to find. As such, there is one special story I wish to revisit, one deserving of a witness. And should the mists of time allow a slight alteration, I believe the ray of hope that was once offered may yet bloom. So to my understanding, this game takes place in the same universe as The Messenger, which is another game they developed in a different style. Um, more like Ninja Gaiden, and it's something that I was meaning to check out at some point, but I just haven't. So I think story-wise, this sits before The Messenger. I may be corrected on this later, but it might be a good time to check that out after, but we'll see. So walk with me tonight and we will explore a tale of high adventure, of magic and deceit, of friendship and wonder, but mostly a tale of heroism. One that I believe will offer valuable insight in the search for a resolution to the throes of the flesh mancer. Hate that name, but sure. Now I remain a bit most a bit lost amidst all these timelines and their subtle variations. But I know just one the one to make up for a perfect starting point. Let us see what we can find in here. Ah yes. Our story begins in a world visited by the flesh mancer generations prior, causing much turmoil and leaving a mark that has yet to be fully cleansed. Somewhere on Evermist Island, two brave children of the Solstice are on their way to meet with an immortal spirit. In order to become fully fledged Solstice warriors, they need to learn how to use magic without magic. I should also point out that I'm going to try and get through this game. I wouldn't say as quickly as possible, but here's the thing. I got this through PlayStation Plus because it was free. And I cancelled PlayStation Plus because of their, uh, their recent price increases that have just been- It just makes the cost insane now, it's just not worth it, given how little I use it. So, this will be the last game that I'll play before the service cancels next month, so I got until the start of next month to finish it. Alright, we made it to the mountain trail. So far, so good. So the Elder Mist lives somewhere here, huh? Do you think it's just another test? Could be, but it sure beats sitting at the academy. And sewing. Ha, huh, yeah, I'm sure glad that's over with. Apply yourselves, for the will you weave into it shall be your sole defense in the times of greatest need. While the lessons taught here may appear to be lost in you, something deep inside is compelled to learn. Ha 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 ha. 
Hey, the sun will be setting soon. We should prepare to set up camp. Let's split up and search for a good spot. Time for some scouting. Tutorial! <laughs> okay. It has vulnerabilities. I wonder if it has like a block mechanic we have to time it, we'll see. Brigades wasn't kidding. These feel easier to fight already. Let's see where this leads. So, you know, people were expecting that Sony was going to announce something with the price increase of PlayStation Plus, but they just didn't. But apparently, I heard this the other day, and I'm not sure how true it is, but... What is that thing doing? Okay. They're adding movies to PlayStation Plus, and though while they don't say it themselves... Ouch, tough one, huh? Let's try this. Present Arc, Moon Moonerang. Oh, it's got... Okay, so this is like Pokemon. It's gonna have things that are more effective. Valerie, found anything? I said the lair, but it's Valerie. Jeez. Just a dead end. How about you? Nothing of notes. But the way to the top is definitely through here. The sun is setting. Come over. I'll get a fire going. I'll be right there. Can't wait for more tomato clubs. Okay. So they haven't officially said it, but the fact that they're adding movies almost leads me to believe that... Most likely the price increase was to account for the fact that they were adding movies, which... They're very limited in how many they're giving. But, yeah, I mean, it just made me cancel the service. Just, the, the increase in Australia is insane. And given I don't really use this for multiplayer, and the whole thing was... I have to kind of find a game to play off it to make it worthwhile. I figured, uh, it's not really worth it anymore. Not for that price. Like, I, I just don't play online games with consoles. And even the ones that I do, that have online, they don't use Sony service, so... It doesn't matter. What's the moon orang? I want to see this. X to deflect. Oh! Okay, I see. It's like a... I'm not gonna use that attack. <laughs> Right, so magic just progressively recharges. Well, I guess for the monk, maybe. Which makes sense. Man, the pixel art in this looks so good already. Oh boy. Ha! But it doesn't beat the face you made the first time you tried smashing a sunball. Oh, I can still hear the headmaster gloating. As I said, whether by paying attention in class or by recklessly attempting to hit a projectile with your open palm, you will learn the first rule of solar magic. To be fair, you did learn. Oh yeah. That one, and that one only took once. You ever miss those years? Before training, just being kids, always daydreaming and getting into trouble? And making mistakes? I'm sorry, Valerie, I, I didn't mean... It's okay, I understand why he wouldn't want to join us after what happened, it's just... I wish he had said goodbye, you know? After ten years of not seeing his face, just to know that he's alright. And that was still friends. Why did we have to get us ahead of ourselves anyway? Oh, gall. T 
10 years ago in the village of Moon Cradle. Oh, they had a third friend. My weapon will be something that hits really hard. I'm not going to read it that way. <laughs> and I'll pick a fast one. We'll be unstoppable. Imagine all the wonders we'll find after we leave Evermist Island. I want to see the sleeper. What's that? You've never heard of the sleeper? Stories say it's a giant serpent and it's been sleeping curled up around the mountain since even before there were traveling historians to record it. No way. Sure is, and it's super dangerous too, but don't worry, it can't wake up. Why not? Apparently there's holes in the mountain and the wind blows through them and plays a melody that keeps it asleep. Whoa. I want to see it too. It's the bell. Alina and Brug Gaves are back. Quick, maybe we can catch them before they go to the academy. Okay. I'm guessing yes, let's just do that. We don't want to have to repeat a tutorial. Hey there, younglings. Uh, you still playing in that little cave below? Oh. Thought there was more to that conversation. These crops are our main source of food. It's hard work, but I am reminded every day when we all eat together that the effort is well worth it. I hope you're not getting into trouble again. What building looks like an academy? Hey, wait. Oh, there's cutscenes, okay. There you are. Playing in your secret hideout again. We are training. I think I can use magic now. Is that so? Let's see it then. Fire! Just kidding. Whoa. Come closer, Zael. Open your palm and concentrate. What about you, Valerie? Have you been training too? Every day. I bet I'm stronger than you now. Ha. Huh. I'm sure you are. Come here then. Yeah, yeah! Whoa, easy now. I can't report to the headmaster if you knock me out. So both of these characters are gonna die. <laughs> Just putting it out there. That was awesome, Zale. You did it. Solstice Warriors. If you're done with your babysitting duties, I would hear your report. Right away, Headmaster. Can we go too? Believe me, once you enter Zenith Academy, you'll wish you hadn't. Let's go, Brew Gaves. Hey, the full moon is out. He's right. Want to go to the Forbidden Cavern again? Oh boy, yeah. We tried already, I can't open it. Yeah, but th but last time we decided maybe the full moon could make the rune more sensitive. I'm sure it'll work, and Moraine will be so impressed he'll take you two in for training right away, and then we'll finally be allowed to leave this island. What if he gets mad and delays our training instead? Nah, no way. Well... We can worry about that after I open it. I mean, if I open it. Alright, let's go. Classic story, the kids mess up and then the adults pay for it.
Ooh. Oh yeah, this is very Chrono Trigger-esque. We made it. Time to stop for a snack. What? I'm not hungry. Yeah, we just left a few minutes ago. Look, it's not a real adventure if you don't eat a snack on the road. Plus, I made something special for the occasion. Here. Wow, that's really good. Yeah, no kidding. Glad you'd like it. It's the jam. I used a bit of sap from the Celestial Willow. You could get into trouble for that. Only if you tell. Ha ha ha. I don't know. Alright, how do I do this? Maybe like Alina has showed me? Try opening your palm and concentrating. You got this, Valerie. It could be Valerie or Valer, I don't know. Stupid pronunciations. I knew it! It worked? I did it. I finally did it! So what now? The headmaster must have heard the bell ring. Do we just wait for him to show up? We might as well enter, it can be our first adventure. What could possibly go wrong? Yeah, and then the headmaster will know we're not afraid. This is exciting, let's go. There's monsters over there, let's hide. I thought Evermist Island was safe. Guess that's only true for Moon Cradle. We should go back, they look dangerous. Yeah, good call. <laughs> Watch out, there's another one. This is bad, we're surrounded. Maybe try to use your powers? We're not ready for this. I... I don't know, just try. Okay, let me focus. Watch out, it's preparing something. Come on, come on. Valerie, watch out. Ah! Oh my god. No. Go! My eye! It really hurts. I... I can't see. There's no escape. It's about to attack again. So it was you. As resourceful as you are, reckless, I see. Headmaster, Khan needs help. It feels better. Like anyone born in Moon Cradle, a regular kid, what Gaal needs is not to concern himself with the affairs of the Solstice Warriors. I'm really sorry, Headmaster, that was all my idea. Hey! Be thankful that the only cost of this lesson was an eye, young lad. As for the two of you, if you are so eager to receive training, I shall oblige. Follow me. Is this... if this is gonna be the reason the kid hates them, it's just because they lost an eye. Make sure to treat the wound and soothe the poor kid. He's not the complaining type, but if the pain seems to return, please send for me. Understood, Headmaster. You will not see a friend for a very long time. If you have any parting words, speak them now. Oh, that's why they don't see him. Aye. 
can't he come and stay with us? How long is very long? Like a week? Ah, the eagerness of youth. It takes years to properly train solstice warriors. Years? No way. But... Your friends have much to learn. I would suggest you use that time to reflect upon what happened today. With any luck, it will help you forget any ideas of getting involved with a burden that is not yours to bear. Guys, don't forget about me. Never. We'll train really hard. Maybe it won't take so long. Ten years later. Oh, it's an elevator. I thought it was going to be a teleporter. I mean, still fancy. It's magical. It's just a platform that rises into the sky. Welcome to Zenith Academy. In this ancient place of knowledge, you will learn everything you need to know in order to become true Solstice Warriors. We've been waiting for this for so long. When do we start? Tomorrow, though I believe a proper introduction is in order. Careful now. Welcome to the classroom in the sky. Oh, it's beautiful. I'm feeling a weird resonance like when I opened the Fubeven cave. Good on you for noticing that. Getting closer to the stars helps new recruits get acquainted with their innate magic. It shows great promise that you were able to feel it before, and Zale too, from what Olina told me. Oh, it was just a small burst. They have no idea how much potential they have. It's probably for the best. Now, in the many years you will spend at Zenith Academy, you will learn about the duties incumbent upon Solstice Warriors. Of the magic you are destined to wield, and the evils it is meant to cleanse. We'll learn how to fight too, right? Naturally. You will spend your days training and studying, uh, but most importantly, sewing. Sewing? That sounds boring. Oh, I can assure you that it is. A mandatory task, nonetheless. All who would join our order begin by weaving their will into an enchanted piece of fabric, the staple of the Solstice Warrior. It is their most prized possession, guaranteeing light in the darkest places and a measure of protection against the minions of the Fleshmancer. Again, I hate that name. <laughs> but first you must learn of your duties train until you cannot feel your limbs and then train some more once both your body and mind are ripe with potential you will create a magic piece of fabric worthy of the very stars you will then be sent out beyond the forbidden cavern to meet with El the elder mist for it alone may officially grant the title of the solstice warrior <laughs> Sewing? Hey, sir, thanks for the 39 months. Flesh Mansa sounds like a fun dude. Yeah. <laughs> I, don't, I, I hate the connotation, but yes. Hello. How's things? It's, it's been a while. I understand it is not what you were hoping for, but it is what is required of you for the time being. Years of sewing? That will be all for today. You will be spending a lot of time in these halls, so you should make yourselves at home. To your left is the training room. You are to go there first thing in the morning. Just above is the way to my chambers. It is off limits, of course. And to your right are the dormitories. Just make sure you pick a bed aligned with your innate magic. Feel free to look around, then go to sleep when you're ready. Good night. Pick a bed that's aligned with your magic? What? Okay, well... I remember when Elena and Brugraves were your age, they wouldn't stop running. 
Ugh, I feel old now. Been busy with work, but off for nine days. Likely be spending a lot of time with Cyberpunk. Oh, that's cool. I've heard they've improved the game quite a bit with the DLC. I honestly would have checked it out if the base game had not <laughs> done what it did. But I have heard it's in a more, much more playable and better state than what it was before. I'm gonna have to save often because otherwise I would hate to have to backtrack with dialogue. So how does one know which bed is like magically aligned with oneself? Never played it when it first came out so you didn't get the issues. Oh, yeah, then you were lucky then. No, I mean, I, I could see that the, the game had potential with its story. It's just the problem I was having was it got to the point where it was basically unplayable. I had glitches that, um, they were effectively a soft lock almost. Like, I had one boss in particular where he just would not die, and then my save point was in the room with him. So whenever the game, the game loaded, I would just instantly die. And yeah, the game would constantly crash, it was just a mess, so I, I didn't bother with it. I'm just having a look before I go to bed, what else is around. But no, I'm glad to hear you're enjoying it, and it's a good game now. I've heard the same sentiment from other people. I mean, maybe one day when it goes on sale it might be worth checking out again, but this time I'll probably do the PC version. I think the mistake was picking the console version. But I wanted more use of my PS5 at the time. Oh, there you are. Moraine finally decided that you were ready. Cool. Oh, you can't climb up here. This game looks pretty nice. Alright, let's just head to bed. I'm sure there'll be time for exploration later. I must pick a bed that apparently is magically aligned with me. Not sure how. You got the expansion and the game for PS5 for £45. It's not bad. I pick this bed. The next morning in the training room. Good morning, fellas. Brew games. So you'll be our trainer? I wish. Elena and I are leaving tomorrow, but the headmaster was kind enough to let us make your first day special. Are you ready for training? You bet. That's what I like to hear. I reckon these should be well suited for the two of you. The training sword. The training staff. Alright, let's get to work. They said it doesn't matter, and I can pick whenever. You got this, Valerie. Don't give up now. Never! Come on, Zale. Keep it up. Hey, I can't do this. Oh, that would get tiring very quickly. It might seem simple, but that would probably get very tiring. 99, 100. That's it for today. You did great. Phew. That was a lot. Feel free to take a break. Alina will see you on the terrace whenever you're ready. I mean, look at, look at the artwork. Just admiring it for a minute. Hmm, ominous door with a key in it. <laughs> Should be just outside of the academy's entrance, oh, okay. Oh, there you are, ready to learn magic? Oh, 
It should feel as if something was scratching an itch from far away from you. You must focus on the sensation and compel it to come closer. I think it's working. Hey, you startled me. I almost had it. Now mine's gone too. It's okay, just breathe slowly. Looks pretty, you have this on Game Pass, you're thinking of giving it a go, but so much to play. Yeah, I know the feeling. This came out in August and I really wanted to play it, but there's been other stuff. Um, but for me, I cancelled PlayStation Plus, so I want to play it before um, the membership lapses, which is next month. So I'm going to do my best to try and get through it. Try to release only when you feel its current passing in front of you. If your time timing is true, it will manifest. On three. One, two, three! I think I felt it. It tickles. Right. That, right there. You just did the hardest part. I'm sure your training will go well, but one more thing. No matter what the headmaster teaches you, remember that this is your life and... Elena! Ugh. Since you are done onboarding our new recruits in the ways of magic, I would provide the briefing for your next assignment. As for the two of you, it is time you tried that sewing kit. Move along now. They taught us sewing in high school and I kind of felt the same way. I was like, sewing? What am I going to need this for? And making a magic piece of fabric worthy of the very stars. Sure is a tall order. Yeah, I have no idea what shape to even make. At least the headmaster said we wouldn't get it right the first time. Well, I'm bored. Yeah. But yeah, I mean, I love Chrono Trigger, and this just had Chrono Trigger vibes, so... I'm very picky with these kind of turn-based RPG games. The ones that I play I really like, but the ones that I play are also very few in quantity. And if I was to take a guess, boredom... You keep saying that, but the Fleshmaster left our realm for good when the Dweller of Strife was destroyed. So why can't they have a normal life? And you know the three of us can take the one on Wraith Island. We don't need them. Prudence, Alina. Wait, Prudence, Alina, or is it Prudence, Alina? There is no telling what threats... Oh, I see. No, Prudence is like the term. Not the... Ugh, I hate English. There is no telling what threats we may face in the future. Valerie and Zael were brought to Moon Cradle by the Great Eagle. It is not the place of the Headmaster to question such things, and neither is it yours. So, how much is enough? What about Moyara? What about the twins? Brugaves! Do not judge a sacrifice you cannot begin to comprehend. This conversation is over. They will study here while you carry on with your investigation. On the first clips after their training is complete, they will join us for the cleansing. Learn as much as you can. Until then. But. Let's just go, Brugos. Hmm. This dude's either a fool or the villain. <laughs> and so they trained and served for days and then months. Faster now! He seems sus. Yeah. He's either an old fool or secretly the villain. One or the other. Focus and then release. And the longer a dweller is left to its devices, the stronger it gets. This makes patrol duty essential. Let one grow for too long and you will have a world eater on your hands. Against such a foe, even a legion of solstice warriors would be helpless. Since delaying only increases the chances of a world eater, cleansings always target the strongest dweller known to us. Headmaster, if dwellers are immune to our magic, how can we fight them? Ah, that is why cleansings are always performed during a total eclipse. 
In these moments only, the Dweller's weaknesses are exposed. How many Dwellers are left? Just the one, known as the Dweller of Woe, but we cannot know for sure. The Fleshmancer just may have planted other seeds of evil before leaving our world. Thus, we must always remain vigilant. Headmaster? Yes, Valerie? What happened with the Dweller of Strife, and who is Moyara? Ugh. <sighs> That will be all for today. You know, when, when you call an event the cleansing, that's <laughs> probably not a great thing. Just someone's maybe either a fool or a villain. Valerie, wake up! Sail, what is that? I think I heard a voice coming from the entrance. What time is it? You read her as Valia, or it might be Valia, I don't know. Oh yeah, it's Valia. Why am I saying Valerie? <sighs> Reading has not been my, my best today. Valia, Valerie. I mean, I said Valer first. How about we just call her Val for short? <laughs> then, then I don't have to worry about getting it wrong. It's like I got it correct no matter what. The other dude only has, um... Has a very short name, so let's just go with Val. Oh, uh, the entrance to the south. Okay. It could be a hipster name as well. Hey, look. The Leo. Oh, smells good. Doesn't know. Dear Val and Zale. <laughs> if you're reading this, it probably means I got caught. I'm writing this as a failsafe, but I hope to see you in person. I made cookies filled with celestial willow jam you liked. Aww. Keep reading. I'm doing everything I can to be ready to leave when you graduate. In the meantime, I hope your training is going well. Oops, now the platform is almost up and I can see Moraine is there waiting for me. He looks very angry. I will try to drop the jar without him noticing. I guess that means I won't be able to try and visit again. But I'm thinking of you every day and I can't wait. I hope you like these cookies. Your friend until the end of time. Gal. <laughs> these names, it's just like, you know, it's almost like a normal name, but then they just have to spell it in a weird way to make it not normal. Like, instead of Carl, they'll still just say Gal. And instead of Valerie, it's Valia. Let's go up on the, the disc to eat the cookies. I think that that's why. I'm just trying to normalize the name. Like, what is, what is Gal? These cookies are amazing. I can't believe Gal was just sitting there. I miss him so much. He seems well, at least, after what happened in the Forbidden Cavern. Knowing him, I bet he smiled it away the next day. Uh, you're probably right. You can't let something like this happen ever again. At this rate, it feels like we'll never sow something good enough for the Elder Mist. It will happen, we just need to keep on training hard. And so they trained and sewed for years. And then they trained and sewed some more. Until one day. Zale. That's the one. I can feel it too. Hold on. Alright, I think I got it too. Let's go see the headmaster. Hey, 
Head Master, so we think we're ready. Why, yes, the tingling of magic in the air has been building up for weeks now. Congratulations, moving forward there will be no more sewing. I can deal with that. It will soon be time for you to leave on your journey to meet the Elder Mist. But before we get to that, Zenith Academy has one more challenge for you. Oh, I have visitors. Just arrived, perfect timing. My, you've both grown pretty strong. Hey, it's good to see you. Elena and Brugaves are here to help you review the basics of combat. Check in with them, then it will be time for your final test. Basics of mad. Alright. When enemies prepare spells, you must do everything you can to prevent them. If you follow your senses, you can try dealing damage with the types that will break their concentration. Simpler spells will only demand normal attacks. Val can do blunt damage and Zael can has slicing. Let's see how you break this one. Interesting. So either the icon means do that. Okay, so it tells you what to do. Oh, it doesn't have a particular order, so it's just... Okay, now I know what that means. Just like that. Now, some spells will also demand magic to break. You can control your projectiles now, so let's give that a shot. Zael for sun and Val for the moon. Mm. Okay. This one is going to be annoying to get the hang of. Okay, I just have to tap it when it's about to arrive, got it. Well done, you can now sense your MP is a bit low, right? To keep up the pace in battle, you must remember to regenerate MP. Let's build it back up, hit me with a normal attack now. This is all well and good, but like I've already had a battle. Did you feel that? You've got some MP back for attacking. In battle, awareness leads to victory. You must pace your spells with normal attacks to avoid ending up in a dire situation with no MP available to get out of it. And on the flip side, you should not hesitate to use spells when MP abounds. For a regular attack on a full bar is a waste of regeneration. The key is to experiment, keep on varying your actions, and find the rhythm appropriate for each battle. One last thing. All battle actions, lock breaking especially. Build your combo energy. When you have enough, you can spend combo points to perform powerful actions. Combos cost no MP and are lost after battle, so you should never hesitate to use them. Moraine told me you came up with your first combo attack, so show it to me. Oh, there we go. There's, there's the Corona Trigger stuff. Yeah, you're strong, all right. Keep an eye out in your adventures. You're bound to come across scrolls that will teach you more combos. Good luck with the exam. I'm sure you'll do great. Is this going to be the same thing again, or is it different? Let's get started. Just attack me in any order. Party members can use their turns in the order of choice, but they can only act once per round. Okay. That's useful to know. Good. Focus is paramount whenever you perform attacks and skills. With proper timing, you can increase the damage you deal. And sometimes even score additional hits. Let's see it. Press X as the hit can. Ugh, yep. Yeah, okay. No, this is this is good. This is good for Paper Mario, Paper Mario, and Mario RPG. As this is gonna be something I'm gonna have to do. That was too late. Stay focused. Ouch. Yeah, that's the gist of it. Most of your attacks and spells can be made more potent with proper timing. Also keep going with more hits until you see miss. And remember to think of timed hits as a welcome addition when you pull it off, rather than something you're supposed to do perfectly all the time. So don't worry about it too much, just keep on trying and your senses for it will develop over time. Okay, now for tra timing your blocks. Let's get the little guy in here. To be efficient in battle, you must pay attention to anything that starts moving. With proper timing, you can reduce damage of any incoming attack or spell by blocking. Get ready. 
Yep, good. That was too soon. There we go. Good, let's see that one more time. Oh, too late! That was too late, really? Okay. That's how you do it. Remember to always stay alert. Some patterns will be harder to read than others, sometimes even requiring multiple blocks. But don't be too hard on yourself. No one is expected to block everything all the time. It's not about getting it perfectly all the time, but rather building a growing sense for it. Just think of a time block as a welcome bonus. The key is remembering to read your enemies and to keep trying. Oh, one more thing. <laughs> what? When a party member gets knocked out of battle, you'll need to switch to a more defensive mode. Chaos allies will get back up on their own at 50% HP once the Chaos Stars are gone. One Chaos Star is removed at the end of each turn. Oh, that's nice. The more you fall during the same battle, the more Chaos Stars there are, so be careful. If all party members go down, it's game over. Fight and survive until Zael returns. That's kind of interesting, the auto revive system. Can't get the timing on that right. And there you have it. Good work today. I'm sure the exam will be a breeze. The Marion will see you to the final test. I'm sure you'll do great. Are you ready for the final test then? Yes. Then let us begin. The big day has finally come. Over the years, Zenith Academy has tested you in many ways. It will now test you one last time. Have you prepared your vows? Yes, Headmaster. Then speak them now. You go first, Zale. Hmm, okay. Ahem. So that I may use my agility to cleanse this world and protect my companions, I will enter the world as a blade dancer. I choose the curved blade, as it will not hinder my speed or reflexes. Welcome, Blade Dancer. Come on, Val. I did it. It's now it's your turn. Ahem. So that I may use my strength to inspire hope and eradicate evil, I will become a battle monk. I choose the staff, or it won't break no matter how hard I strike. Welcome, battle monk. Today you must demonstrate your mastery of everything Zenith Academy has taught you. Your final challenge awaits below. Please step aside. Oh, before I forget, here's a little something to keep you healthful. Tomato Club. Now, with a faith in your abilities and purpose, in your actions, take the leap and return as new recruits of our order. I'm ready, Val. Let's just go for it. They have to just jump. Oh shit. Okay. I like the music. Apparently, I have a cookie jar. Walnut stone. Oh, <laughs> I could, I could be smart and not battle, but okay, fine. I guess it's a hard requirement. Good timing. <laughs> I should probably not skip too many battles.
I was hoping there'd be a way to get like a preemptive strike. Okay, focus one down. Stop picking on him! Jeez. I don't have heals, so... <laughs> It's probably going to be that one of them has to survive until the other one's ready. They haven't even been to the other side of the Forbidden Cavern yet? How can they understand? So you don't think we should at least try and explain? You've seen how strong they are. Word will be a walk in the park. Let's see them off then. Oh, okay. Exam mode, engage, embrace yourselves. <laughs> okay, heal, cool. Physical. Oh. Okay. Shuffle weakness, son. I like the music. The blocking right. Hey, Clive, how's it going? How's things? Okay, uh, right. Hammer. Nice. Okay, we can do combo. Great vid. Oh, thanks, man. I appreciate it a lot, especially checking it out. It's a lot of fun to make. Ooh. Physical attack, mana points, magic defense, hit points. Interesting. I'm gonna... I'm gonna go the monk as, like, the physical. I like the simplified form. And then you will go... Magic attack. I'm gonna- I'm gonna do a, a twist here. Like, fire blade. Congratulations, you have been trained well. Return to your headmaster. How's the engagement on it? Pretty good. Pretty good. Good, given it was only my second video that I've done on YouTube in that manner. Like, the channel did not have many subscribers, and it's almost doubled just from that one video, so... It's done pretty well. Yeah, how do I return? Or is there just another room? Yeah, so... It's encouraged me a bit to do more of those kind of videos. I'm working on another one where... 
I'm going to talk about Warrior Land and just the series and how much I like it and then how it's been missing. And also the games that have kind of come up recently that are going to be better than Warrior Land and yeah. Return to Headmaster, right, but like how? I may have missed it. Do I push the button again? Oh, just the corridor. They don't look like a corridor. Alright, we're fine. What tier is Tunic? <laughs> I mean... I would put Tunic... Warrior and Super Dry Fu Yeah, the thing about Warrior for me is I played 1 and 2 growing up. And then I didn't play it again until... Uh, the Wii. So, you know, my thoughts on it are, I really love the series, but admittedly, they, Nintendo didn't vary it enough. They kept the same abilities for years. They didn't come up with new ways for Wario to do stuff. And that's where these new games are, like, really doing it well. Like, Pizza Tower, if you haven't heard of it, check it out. Like, it's a very good game. It's basically what Nintendo should have done with Wario Land a very long time ago. And then there's another one coming out called Anton Blast, which looks like a Game Boy Advance game. Um, but again, it's just taking the Wario formula and expanding it, which is, again, what Nintendo should have done a long time ago. But that knowledge is for the Elder Mist in part. Okay, come, the villagers have gathered to celebrate your departure. So... Uh, Anton Blast is still in development, so they only have the demo out, but what I played of it is pretty good. It is on special days such as this one that the citizens of Moog Cradle are reminded of the importance of their duties. Where's Gal? I don't see him. Many years ago, Val and Zale were delivered to us by the Great Eagle. Deliveries on two solstices in a row to boot. A very rare occurrence. I remember Gran was so happy to get to meet the two more before she passed. I miss Gran. All of you have come together to nurture and protect them, just like your ancestors have done for so many children of solstice before. Val and Zale, step forward so that the good people of Moon Cradle might gaze upon those who will soon join the ranks of the solstice warriors. This parading is ridiculous. Oh, let the villagers have their fun. It's all they get. So you're okay with this now? You know I'm not. Now cheer with me as we send these young heroes out across the Forbidden Cavern to meet the Elder Mist. All right. To the gates. What do we do? I want to see Gaal before leaving. I guess we have to play along for now. Fingers crossed that we can come back before... Wait, fingers crossed that we can come back after meeting this Elder Mist. Fingers and toes. Val, Zale, you must undertake this journey on your own now. We will not fail, Headmaster. Go now through the Forbidden Cavern and the top of the mountain trail to seek audience with the Elder Mist. Learn how to use magic without magic, and you shall then enter the world as a true solstice warrior. May Luana's might protect you. May Solon's light guide you. Here, this should keep you fed for a little bit. And if your adventure feels a little tough, you could take a look at these. Amulet of Storytelling. Sequent Flare. You just received your first two relics. Find them in the relic section of the game menu. If you prefer a lighter challenge or are looking to push yourself to the max, these relics offer a range of options. Oh. Okay. Remember to keep an eye out for merchants. Selling any valuables you find will keep you fed and well equipped. Now, wherever your adventure takes you, you must remember your first assignment. After the Elder Mist sends you out into the world, you must secure passage to Wraith Island in time for the next eclipse. And do keep on training, for a dire cleansing awaits. I hate his terminology. I still can't believe he wants them to fight a dweller already. That's Moraine for you. We weren't much older the first time. Yeah, but we'll find a way. Safe journeys, and may you cleanse this world. 
I just... I don't know. <laughs> it could be this is perfectly innocent or this dude is just the, the villain the whole time. There was a ch there was a treasure chest back there. Ah, I saw it. Cheer with me as we send these kids to their deaths. It's a common theme in games. It's just children doing the impossible, like Pokemon. I mean, come on. How old is the character in Pokemon? Like eight years old? Maybe ten. I think ten. The point is, still a child. And you know, it's just like, yes, child, you may go out on your own. Feed yourself, clothe yourself, and just come across creatures that may potentially harm you. But go nuts. You, you are ready now. Get on with the rest of your life. Get out of bed. Do something. <laughs> it sure feels easier now. This time we make it through. Anyway. I would imagine they're in the teenage years. Because they said it was 10 years since they last saw their friends, so I'd imagine at the time they were around that age group, and now they are young adults. So it's, it's not as bad as other games. Damn. This is the thing you need to any for any game of this genre is just good battle music. Okay, let's just get rid of this one first. Oh, jeez. I was like, what is it doing? Alright, so Zale. Zale has not done well. Yeah, there we go. So what are these relics? Amulet or storytelling? That's kind of cool. Successfully timing hits and blocks cause a star flare to fly out of the character for a clear as day confirmation that the input was properly timed. Recommended for those preferring stronger feedback, all while closing in on the master set of moves. I appreciate the options. I think I'm fine for now. been introducing a 10 year old to the original FF7. Oh. How are they finding it? That's a good game. I haven't played that one in a very long time. You know, the remake is its own thing. Adventurous Vest, okay. Well. Ah, I keep getting the timing wrong. I got the swords down, it's just the parrying. Which, surprise, surprise, <laughs> I had this problem in Mario and Luigi Superstar Saga. It's alright, get good. I mean, I should probably do... Hang on. 
slash enemies can bounce to multiple targets, not just a single. I should probably use more magic. You feel the remake is more of an alternate timeline. Yeah, yeah, for sure. I mean, it seems to be lacking the original. That's good. See, it's been so long that I don't remember much of the game, but I just remember that it was great. It's locked. It's out of reach, let's look around. This is dyslexic, so you have to do a lot of reading. Oh, that's fine. But it's a way to bond. Is this an homage to Final Fantasy VII or Chrono Trigger? Uh, more on the side of Chrono Trigger. The music producer of Chrono Trigger is involved with this game. Not the whole soundtrack, but parts of it, so... What is this? Hmm. Can I tell one of them to wait? Can I pull this somehow? Hang on. I think I know what it is. I'm gonna stand on it. This game only just came out. It's been out for about a month, but I just haven't had the chance to play it. Okay, I see. It was simple, and I overcomplicated it. The believer is to just pull it out. Bit in cavern key. It's made by the same people that made the messenger, so it's set in the universe of that game. If you know that game. Val and Zale learn combo, mending light. Oh, nice. Did I play the messenger? I did not. I wanted to, but I just never found the time to do it. But I might after this one, because this is supposedly a prequel to the messenger, so it might be good to play this one and then play that after. The messenger is just one of those games that definitely interested me, but at the time there was a bunch of stuff out that kind of prevented me from going, yeah, I'm going to play this. So it's no comment on the game itself, just bad timing. Oh man, this music. Oh, that's dirty. That's dirty. I probably should have healed. It's okay. I like the, uh... The down system in this. You just have to survive a turn and it auto-resurrects. That's cool. Party heal. I'm gonna save that. Oh, okay. I see. It's a sandwich. I was like, a club. It's a club sandwich. Ha. Huh. <laughs> I thought it was some foreign thing. Cause now nah, it clicked. It's, it's a club sandwich. Okay, I get it. I mean, we don't. Uh, I've rarely heard the term club sandwich in Australia. It, it's definitely there, but we just call it a sandwich. That's it. The device is broken, we can't activate the bridge. I'm really not doing well with English. No, I, in my mind, I thought it was something else. I just forgot the club. Like, some people just call it a, a club. 
There seems to be a D2 through here, to the left. Off the shot. This is, this is less of an English thing and more of a... It's just not in Australian vernacular, you know? Like, we say Sando. Either Sandwich or Sando. Or Sanger. Sanger is probably more common. That's one of those three. Not club. Val, there's a campfire spot here. We should rest up a little to heal when we can. Oh. Glad that happened. Val. Sounds big. Get ready. Alright, now we got the epic boss music. You say Sonny? Yeah, there you go. Damn it. I should have just done a normal attack. Yeah, I don't want that messing me up. Even though this is pixel art, it still has really nice lighting. Jeez, okay. Uh, mending light is not yet. Speaking of pixel art, did I see Terraria's getting another update? Yes. <laughs> another final, final update. Stardew Valley is also getting an update, so... There's a, this year is just really stacked when it comes to games. Like we are, we are spoiled for choice. Yeah, for Sunball. There we go. Concentration broken. Okay. Stardew Valley probably won't even have what concerned Ape said would be the final update. Almost guaranteed 1.7 update from mod user that is. Oh, okay. I mean, I didn't read that the stuff that was coming out for Stardew was a final update. I just knew that it was an update. And that there was going to be a lot of internal changes for mod builders. That's four attacks. That's... Ooh, okay. 
I might have to resort to this, unfortunately. It's just going to be rough otherwise if I don't. Nice, that's a good splash. I mean, it's good because the Stardew mods, I've only tried one major one, and it was really, really good. So to see that, you know, he's already working towards maybe stopping main development, but then allowing people to do their own thing. It's, it's a good thing for the, for the game. Oh boy. I have to be very defensive here. Ugh. There we go. <laughs> cool. Pretty fun fight. Our first big one! Haha, <laughs> we did it. Looks like there's a way out over there. The mountain shouldn't be much further now. Okay, see? Yeah, I was gonna go up there without going in here. Adventurer's vest. Okay, cool. I got another equal. Ooh, they've kind of got plague bearer stuff. Things are starting to move. Plague doctor. I am eager to see what these two can do. Eager and impatient too. For now we wait. Three, you know what to do. Again, just Chrono Trigger vibes here. I'm just admiring the pixel art. This feels like Stardew music. <laughs> hey there, were you looking for anything in particular? Just the, the, the instrument. Um, Sky Sword, Copper Staff, Adventures. Well, I think we should invest in weapons at least. Oh, that's a nice little shortcut, I guess. I mean, I guess if... It depends if there's crafting. Oh, there's fishing in the game. Alright, well. Time for obligatory fishing round. Okay, I need to get the hang of it. Hang on. Why is it every kind of game I play, this just happens? Depends if... hang on. Let me go for something easier. Yeah, that's better. Oh, that was much easier. A Luna Trout. 
I mean, this is probably important because if there's cooking and we can make food to heal ourselves with, hell yeah. <laughs> what, I, what do I do to the fish to stun it? Ah, oh, line snapped. Damn. It's too tense with it. I should have let it go. You gotta go with slack, I guess. Okay, I think I got the hang of it. Just gotta let it give it slack. Ah, maybe it's a time thing. I will get at least one of these long distance fish. Holy shit, it's already red. Okay, the lion does recover. Gotcha. This is really cool fishing. I like I like the fishing. I've played a lot of fishing mini games over the years. This is pretty good. I want to get those those ones in the bottom right corner, but I haven't figured out how to control strength of cast yet. That'll do. We got, we got some food. I'm good. Or you know what? Could I sell the fish? Oh, it's only one. I mean, you could sit there and grind it. <laughs> Catch 90 fish and then get yourself a sword. You could do that. If this was Terraria, I would probably do that. Oh, that's, that's it. This is all this is. This is just a lake to fish at. Which, I guess, fine. We have some ingredients. Maybe we'll be able to fry up the fish or something later. It's probably enough. I wonder if there's hidden things in the map. I'm going to assume no for now. Oh, we're back. Okay, alright, we made it to the mountain trail. So far, so good. Let's split up. So the Elder Mist lives somewhere here, huh? And this is where the story began, so now we're caught up. Now we're in present time. I really hope we'll get a chance to return to Moon Cradle after this. What if we're sent out into the world right away? Yeah, I don't know. I just wish Gal was here. We could certainly use some Celestial Willow Jam to go with this awful bread. What about the fish? I just caught fish. You should be eating the fish. Haha, <laughs> the dream. Celestial Willow Jam? I've got some right here, guys! I even picked some mushrooms. You won't believe the soup I'll make. Oh, and I found some herbs in the Forbidden Cavern. They'll do just right. Gal? 
what? You didn't really think I was going to let you go on an adventure without me, did you? Gal! Haha, <laughs> it's so good to see you two again. You look so strong now. Why didn't you show up for our departure? Are you kidding? There was absolutely no announcement. As soon as I heard everyone gather, I went to our hideout to pack my stuff, but you left so fast. Guys, I'm so pumped for this journey. I know all about survival now. Fishing, and gathering, and cooking, and... What's wrong? You can't actually come with us. We just wanted to say goodbye. We're on duty now, and it's pretty dangerous. You can't mean that. You always talked about how we'd all leave together after your training. Plus, I spent all those years practicing in our little cave. I'm ready. Look, I may not have any special powers like you do, but I'm built strong and I've been preparing. This here is my shield. I'll be a defensive fighter. No, a warrior cook. <laughs> oh, yeah? Sure am, and I've been reading a lot too. See, most of the monsters you're going to face won't even be flesh mansa minions, which means anyone can fight them. Are you sure about that? Totally, you haven't seen any yet, have you? No, but... I'll know when to step aside, don't worry. Plus, you can't really travel the world with just a few sandwiches. What were you thinking? That's... Yeah. See, you need me. You just do your solstice warrior duties and I'll keep your bellies full. Gal. Deal? Okay, deal. I'm so happy. No way, this is awesome. Haha. -ha. Alright, I'll start the kettle. We'll have so much catching up to do. The warrior cook. Actually, the class. And so apparently after we meet this Elder Miss, we'll be able to use magic without magic and be sent out into the world. That's all we've been told. I guess finding our own way is the final step of training. Our first assignment is to get to Wraith Island in time for the next eclipse. Wow, that's a lot. Your powers sound so cool though, I can't wait to see them in action. So how about you, Gal? Oh, it was pretty uneventful to be honest. All I did was train and learn the skills I thought would come in handy. Every single day I was hoping to see you come out, so I'm sure glad no one told me it would take 10 years. Yeah, we miss you too. It's not fair that we were together and you had to do this on your own. Well, we're all together now, so it doesn't matter anymore. And I can't wait to explore the world. I want to taste everything. Hey, this soup is unreal, by the way. Right? Uh-huh, so how much food do you pack? Just enough for a few meals. It's better we travel light. And there's ingredients everywhere if you know where to look. And who knows what we'll find. It's all part of the adventure. Why don't you try now, Val? See that bush right there? It's full of juicy berries. All you have to do is pick them. Foraging. Perfect. Now we'll make some jam with the berries you picked. Just interact with the campfire and get ready to cook. Is this going to be a cooking mini game, please? Or is this... Ah, uh, it'd be cool. <laughs> Just the game suddenly becomes cooking mama. Okay. See, you're a natural. We can eat that jam later when we need to heal up. Thanks for the tip, Skull. That's going to come in handy for sure. Don't mention it. Hey, I'm ready for some sleep. Same here. And nothing but the stars above us. I'm loving this life already. Gal, I'm really glad to see you here. Haha, <laughs> I was about to say that. Me too, guys. I wouldn't want to be anywhere else. Well, good night then. Good morning. You all ready to go? I'm excited to see what this Elder Mist looks like. Should be straight up. Let's keep hiking. Uh, I have fish. Oh, you need wheat? Apparently I need wheat to be able to cook the fish. 
Why can't I just cook the fish on its own? It's fine. Let's see what this is about. I don't know what weapon... Oh yeah, no, just just pick on the new guy. What does he do? Oh, he's shield. Okay, I see. Shield bash. Abacus. Leeching Thorn. Normal attack seal for 15% of damage done. So if he's going to be a tank, then yeah, that's probably a good idea. His weapon is the actual shield. <laughs> that's, that's a cauldron lid. Yes. There you go, he's got... Wait, he can't wear armor? Displays non-boss enemy HP in combat. Oh, sure. There we go. I wonder why he couldn't wear that. It must have been like an armor class thing or something. Ooh, there's wheat. I can cook the fish. Okay, well this is just leading back to what I was exploring initially. I'll go cook a couple of fish. Just so we have that ready. Oh, you can do two. Oh! <laughs> okay, I mean, I appreciate the pictures, at least. Sorry, I'm just not used to being able to do multiple things at once. Like, I've been playing Animal Crossing, where I have to spend half an hour just preparing 50 pieces of bait that I don't ultimately need in the end, because I use three, and I'm done. I did this in the wrong order. Oh, it's moon attack. Okay, I see. Ow. I'm gonna go with ow. What the hell? He's supposed to be in a tank. Okay, um... Yeah, I guess that'll work. I love how Gal's gonna be the first one to eat shit. Okay, never mind. This is not good. Okay, Gal's got this. Oh, cool. I got some meat. Um, I already <laughs> need to go back to the campfire. It's 
Okay, I don't think it's counting the number of days and nights that I rest, hopefully. It does seem to have a day-night system, so I wonder if that matters. How do I get over there? Just probably drop- ah, there you go. I'm excited to get the food. <laughs> Just making sure there's no caves or anything hidden. Alright. Get him, Gal! Oh, damn, that did a lot of damage. For just being a pot lid. It's worth it. Vendor? Hey there, were you looking for anything in particular? Mm, nothing really. Let's see what else. We can make a basic salad. Tomato club. 35. I guess we can make that as an emergency heal. Alright, I'll do. <laughs> I think... Just been ruined by... By Zelda. Making me think that there's secrets in every area. If I don't see... A hidden area... Like, kind of out of line of sight in a blind spot, then I'll stop looking. Just probably for the first couple of hours, if not more, I'll be doing that. Damn it, I- oh, I messed up. Okay. Um... Oh, wow, okay. <laughs> Never mind. I'm just dead. Oh, haha. Got a new recipe. I guess it's worth looking in these areas. It does let you freely jump down. Oh boy, these things. Oh, you can get an advantage attack, that's cool. 
That wasn't part of the tutorial. I don't know what I'm supposed to do against that. Like, I can't get two moon attacks off unless the other characters learn moon spells. Oh, that's interesting. You can't always stick to the same stats, so now it's like... You pick one and it'll rotate it, I guess. Got a magic defense. <laughs> the tank in every sense. Gotta stick to that. Just the sponge, that's fine. The good kind of sponge, not the bad. Not the one that just you know, leeches, it's more... Oh, damage sponge. Yeah, let's sink first. Thunder! Ooh, ugh. I mean, the ball is definitely threatening, but I did not know it would do that. He went down. I didn't think he'd get it. I thought he'd be fine. Alright, that one's down. You'll be fine. Okay, so the shield counts as bludgeoning. Alright, let's get the mending light in just so we don't have to worry about stuff later. Is Moonerang multi-attack? It is, yes, but uh, I, you have to time it. <laughs> I suck with any attack that's like rhythm-based. I tend to avoid it. It's like in the Mario and Luigi game, there was an attack that was superior, but I just didn't use it because, I don't know, I just sucked at using it. I should practice and try to get used to it. I think most of the spells are multi-attack to be fair, like the other ones do splash damage. I'm just not sure how I'm supposed to deal with that one. It requires two moon. There we 
I got. I mean, it'll probably make sense later. Okay, this is just for backtracking purposes. Hmm. Cave or up? Let's see what up has. Up leads to a bigger cave. <laughs> okay. Arm in a store. What could this be? Alright, I guess I can't do anything yet. I see two torches. Hoo hoo hoo. Who? Two children of the solstice have come for their rite of passage, but I also sense one who does not belong here. Is he brave or foolish? Who? Let's find out. Oh, it's like a spirit owl. Welcome, young adventurers, to the sacred pond. The aesthetic is really nice. You love the look of the climbing and such. Oh, this is just a fantastic looking game. Very nice sprite work and animations. It's So far, I'm enjoying it a lot. Nice to meet you, Elder Miss. My name is Gal. My, what a gregarious one you are. I will say, though, the start, it has a pretty lengthy tutorial. Like, it did take about an hour to finally get into the flow of the game, which... I mean, I get it. There's, there's a bit to explain, but... It could have been a little quicker. But otherwise, now, now it's fine. Enthusiasm is certainly welcome in this place of meditation, but it writes. Its rights are not meant for the common folk. Children of the Solstice, step forward. Who? Who, who, who? It seems you show great potential indeed. Have you weaved your will into celestial fabrics? We have, Eldermess. Then come closer and let them be imbued by the sacred pond's magic. Who a tremendous resonance. Wear them with purpose, for they will augment your innate magic. You shall be henceforth have light in the darkest places and protection against the minions of the Fleshmancer. Again, I hate that name. <laughs> I don't feel any different. Yeah, me neither. Who, rest assured, the ability to use magic without any magic has taken root in you indeed. What does that even mean? And how does it work? It arises from need. In the many battles that await you, victory will often demand the use of more offensive magic than one can sustain through spells alone. That is why attunement to live mana is paramount. Live mana? Who? It allows your attacks to draw from the magic bestowed upon you at birth. And judging by the resonance you create, this power should even extend to your traveling companions. Huh? You are ready. Live mana will start manifesting for you the next time you enter battle. Are you ready for your final test? Elder Miss, I'd like to go with them. Who? The Elder Miss trials have never been undertaken by anyone but aspiring solstice warriors. But I want to go with them, please. Interesting. You are the first of the common folk to ever make such a request. He sure is a peculiar one. No doubt limited when it comes to combat, but the warmth of his heart. Could he bring it back? Perhaps we should try to find out. I will allow it. Alright, thanks, Eldermist. Consider it a test of your ability to act as a companion to the Solstice Warriors. I won't fail. We are ready. Then close your eyes and take a deep breath. <laughs> Fleshmancer, I know. It's just... Yeah... Welcome to the Elder Mist Trials. To pass this final test, you must bring three relics together by completing 
their associated challenges. The monsters that will try to stop you are immune to physical attacks and the use of offensive spells is prohibited. What? How then? Who? that is why you must use magic without magic. Live mana can boost your battle actions with a portion of your magic attack. Embrace the power and your training will be complete. Well, I have to try that. The trial's away. Should you wish to return for a while, simply close your eyes and concentrate back to where you appeared. Godspeed. I mean, the game has Chrono Trigger vibes, but part of it also gives me Secret of Mana vibes as well. It's just, there's a lot of RPGs that are, it's definitely drawn inspiration from. That attack did nothing. A spell would probably do it, but we can't use them here. Guess that's the part where using magic without magic comes in. But how? Hey, some little orbs just appeared when I attacked. Maybe that's live mana? Could be. I feel kind of a pull towards them. Yeah, I feel it too. Let me try something. Whoa. Oh. Whoa. It worked. How does it feel? Like power. So if I attacked, it should do magic damage now. Interesting. That was amazing. I want to try it next. Boosting is unlocked. Regular attacks will now generate live mana. Hold R2 and press X to absorb and a charge and boost. Up to three boosting charges can be stacked, each adding a portion of your character's magic attack stat to the next action. Ah, in the case of regular attacks, the character's innate magic damage type, if they have one, will also be added. So that's how you do the two moon thing. Whether you are dealing with an intricate lock pattern, need to make your next healing spell really count, or just want to deal more damage, remember to boost. That's super interesting. Okay, I was wondering how we were going to deal with, like, the two moon requirements, or two sun. Because I've seen them pop up a couple times. Now that makes sense. So it would require doing a basic attack with the character you need the boost power from. Okay, I'm with it. Seems cool. a little bit of an upgrade, why not? Okay. There we go. That's pretty cool. Wait, he generates them as well, and then... Okay. That's an interesting system. I'll try to give it to the tank. <laughs> Let's see. What if he absorbs a bunch of it? Ow, ow, ow! Let's see. Boost. There you go. I kind of want a sandwich like that now. 
it looks pretty good. Ah, oh, RPG games and their food. But I just went around, I must have missed the point of here. All this did was give me a ladder back down. I guess this isn't the way. Ah. I see. And then you go back. Got it. Oops. <laughs> I went too far. I'm curious to see what weapons Gal is going to get later. Oh, okay. <laughs> Alright, that's one. Maybe a real shield? Yeah, probably. Be cool if it was a shield with spikes. To get this artifact piece, you will need to answer three questions correctly. Let's see how well you learn. Of these two actions, which one regenerates MP? Attacking. <laughs> I mean, is it, is it really still in tutorial mode? I guess I can't complain. Like, it could be worse. It could be one of those games where, like, you know, they give you a quiz and then it's something like, On the way up here, how many green ferns did you count? It's like, what? I wasn't expected to have to... Ah. What is the name of the school you went to, Zerna? I hate it when games do that, where they... They all of a sudden introduce... Oh, yeah, by the way, you had to keep track of this minutia the whole time. We didn't tell you, but hey, how, how many red flags were in the town that you just visited, like an hour ago? One very important Solstice Warrior duty is to uh, uh, destroy dwellers. To become vulnerable during which natural phenomenon? Eclipse. Okay. Now, here's the thing. Imag let's say this was the trial of knowledge, or wisdom. And let's say the first one was the trial of power, where you had to fight. Is this one going to be courage? Are they... <laughs> what I'm getting at is this going to be like a, a reference to Zelda? I mean, I'm, I'm having to take leaps of faith here. Could you consider this c courage? Maybe the... I mean, you're kind of platforming in the void. 
if there's no combat, I'm going to interpret it as courage. Okay, no, that does combat. Never mind. Just get rid of the one that's about to attack. Everyone gets a turn at being powerful. Except you. <laughs> oh no, that's not true, you got a turn. I got the feeling we're just building a boss right here. Like, the things we've brought together sure seem to form a body. Or a tower. Guess we'll see. I'm saving constantly just so we don't have to double up on dialogue as well. Okay. This is our last chance to prepare. Do you feel ready? Yeah. Hoo hoo hoo. The young adventurers have finished the preparations. Huh? I see you understand the power of live mana, but you can you master it? We shall see. The use of spells is now allowed again. Oh sh <laughs> holy crap. Face me, children of the solstice. That's cool. Okay, uh Ah Ooh, okay. Um... This is probably super defensive, but... Okay. That was- that was my mistake, like, going for the sword. That was stupid. I mean the body, before the sword. Don't use Crescent Arc, they'll probably... ...trigger a response. Let's just do that. The problem is the magic. It gives off uh, splash damage. Alright, there goes golf. <laughs> A couple turns. Alright, let's power up!
Oh, it's disabled now. But I can't attack. Okay. I can't target the hand. Okay. There we go. Nice. Okay. Oh, shit. That's not good. Um, boost. We're gonna have to eat, like, a... Uh... It's okay, it's okay, it's okay, I think. Oh. Okay, everyone heal. Yes. There we go. Okay, um, so we need to, got it. Unfortunately, I probably won't be able to stop this in time. <laughs> it's okay. Same thing. Save the orbs when I attack the body! Jeez. There we go, broken. Didn't level up, it's fine. How formidable. Who a bright future awaits you indeed. Val and Zale, I name you Solstice Warriors. I knew it, you're the best. Ha, there it is. We did it. I have consulted the mists of time during your trials. When you are ready to leave this place, find me back at the sacred pond and I will tell you of your respective prophecies. Then you will be sent out into the world, who? 
don't take too long now. That was surprisingly straightforward. I thought that was going to involve a little more. I'm just assuming it didn't auto heal me. It probably did. Good morning. The time has come to begin your journey. Morning, but it's the middle of the night. Ha, ah, yes, I suppose your friends should address that. Address what? Bring us the dawn. We can do that? Who? All it takes is for you to stand on a celestial rune. And then what? Something inside of you knows already. Right this way. Now concentrate and bring us the dawn. R2 and L2 while standing on a rune to change the time of day. Oh, like... Ad advanced time. Whoa. That's cool. The shadows work as well. How'd you do that? That's the coolest thing I've ever seen. <laughs> that part is always easier by simply going for it. Now, in your travels, you will sometimes find mechanisms and seals powered by magical runes that react at the time of day. They were put into place by Solstice Warriors who came before you. Some conceal artifacts meant to help future members of the Order, such as yourselves, while others seal away evils that were too powerful to confront. Whether or not to look for these artifacts and challenges will be entirely up to you. Now your journey can begin. I have seen the moon symbol around, so that explains that. Come and meet me beyond this chasm. How do we get across? By using your powers, of course. Meet me on the other side. And as a farewell gift, I will share with you what I could read in the mist of time. Try using the crystal to charge a smaller rune on the ground above and see what happens. Ooh. Cool. Very cool. Ever miss Islands Landing? This is a massive. Please don't tell me I'm about to fight another boss. Cool, you ready to be sent out into the world? Yes. This looks like a Titan. Less, let us see you off then, but first your prophecies. I will speak them to your minds directly, for they are yours and yours alone. Zael, so step forward. In order to reach your full potential, you'll first need to stare at the night inside of you. Thank you, Aldermist. Val approached. When the time comes, you'll be the one to create paths on water. Understood. Gal, I got one too? Awesome. You must be mindful of your limitations during this journey. You got it, Aldermist. Gal, this is not a conversation. <laughs> oh, my bad. Carry on. The mists are unclear in your case, but it appears your heart might be warm enough to soothe a long-tormented soul. Okay, I'll do my best. You have now learned everything I could teach you. I'm sending you to Sleeper Island, where you are fated to meet a crew bound for adventure. Make friends with them, and they will help you reach Wraith Island in time for the next eclipse. To activate this giant... Give it... Give it the name Extol. Wait. 
To activate this giant, give it the name Xtol to be sent to Sleeper Island. To return here, simply go to Xtol and speak this one's name, which is... Xtol? Cool. <laughs> well, I suppose we won't be seeing each other for a while. Who? <laughs> that was good. And so it was that with Val and Zale were sent off to begin their journey with their best friend, the warrior cook in tow. In their quest to get to Wraith Island in time for the eclipse, they would soon come to grips with two very powerful wizards. One by Anger Beset, the other of Life Bereft. <laughs> Pretty neat transportation. No way, that was awesome! The Elder Mist wasn't kidding. What a ride. Who knew the world was so big? So what now? Find a boat, I suppose. To ground level then, there's only one way we can go from here anyway. Yes, more to cook. Chest over there, okay. First the cave. Found Solstice Mage Ring, okay, that's Oh, there we go. Party member require uh, recovers one MP when they block. Okay. Sure. I really like the design of the world. Stop it in time, but that's fine. I wanted the, the lettuce. I mean, it's kind of impressive how much balance that, that dude has, especially with the backpack. Rainbow conch, okay. just connects it together.
someone who can teleport, huh? <laughs> I mean, I'm curious if this is going to be just one of these games where it's three-party or it's going to lean more towards Chrono Trigger, where you pick your party of three amongst, like, a cast of characters. I will try to fight everything. Jeez. I probably don't need that. It's probably overkill for this. Okay, maybe not. Uh oh. I tried to time that. Okay. Enough messing around. Just in case. Okay, hold on. I mean, there's a lot here. Oh wait, this is where I came from. Sorry, my bad. I thought it was a cave. Oh, they respawned. <laughs> Just ignore him! No harm, no foul. I'll try the boomerang. Did I play Taiji? I did not know. What's his... that's one. Ooh, okay. No, that. This view reminds you of it a lot. Okay. Yeah, when it comes to RPG games, I really like them, but I'm just super picky in the sense that it has to grab me right away. But the RPG games I love are just some of my favorite games. You get fatigued easily. Yeah, I get that. Especially if the experiences that go on for like 100 hours. This one, from what I've heard, it's about 35, so it's in the sweet spot. That's a perfect length in terms of time. That's why I enjoyed Final Fantasy 16 a lot. It was not as long as I thought it would be. The game was was really good, but I think if it would have been a 100 hour experience, I probably would have struggled a bit. And that's just a comment on me, not the game.
Fill them up. That did not heal that much. Ugh. Okay, we're gonna have to get out of this defensive route. I can't block these correctly. Ugh, okay. Oh boy. One's gonna go down. Ah! Oh shit. Oh, that's not good. That is really, really not good. Okay, let's just do that. I should be able to use healing light after this, hopefully. Let's just focus down and out. Okay, there we go. The fight's kind of reset, but... Oh, shit, she's gonna go down. Ugh. Nah. Shit. Team down. There was no way, like, even if I parried that. <laughs> Ugh, alright. It's a good thing I saved. I know constant saves are definitely a requirement here. Okay, I, I need to get that ant down quicker. Also try and get the ah, damn it, the stab in. I'm gonna save my MP for the next fight. Solo I haven't got the timing for that down. Surprise it doesn't count for two moon turns. That is not great. I'm going. I don't really have like a save point. Um, oh, it does MP, not HP. Shit. Alright, it's fine. 50, 35, mushroom soup, 40, party. That's too good to use. I'm just going to go with that, and then let's just hope for the best. Definitely need to cook at the next campfire. I might have to see if I can get past this without triggering a fight. Oh, this is... Like, it's probably not in my best interest to fight right now. Power belt. Maybe I could take this one on because it's it's on its own. Just need to be patient. 
Okay, now. Oh no, oh, it's this fight again. It didn't even give me a, a lucky strike. Alright. Yeah, go after the one on the lowest HP, that's fine. That's so annoying. <laughs> I wanted to heal him. I'm going after the one. There we go. I'm gonna focus down. I'm saving my combo for the heal. One should just be all I need to beat him. There we go. This fight is brutal. Not yet. Just thinking if I should do this twat. Eh, uh, just interrupt it. I can interrupt it, why not? It's probably gonna summon more ants. One of them's gonna go down, alright, it's fine. They're blocked. I'm gonna do this instead. to get that. Alright, let's do it. <laughs> Very defensive attack. That's another one down. I swear if it summons more. Nearly there. He'll, he'll be fine. I've kind of got in the hang of how to block these things now. Alright, get him. 
Why is that fight so hard? I don't think that was a worthy fight. I mean, I definitely need heals. Let's just stick to higher ground for now. I can't afford to get into another fight. The foot surface is still fragile. Okay. I mean, I get that the reward is food. Wait, I can't climb any higher. Oh, no, I see. Oh. I'm just worried that I can't fight that thing. I mean, it might not be so bad. Ah, oh, god damn it. <laughs> No, this was significantly worse. It's okay. I was not expecting the party from behind. I think it's definitely better to focus on the ant. The ant could summon. Okay, hang on. That was a summon coming. Damn it, I can't. All right, there we go. I think I should be okay. They're all hurting here, though. Hopefully level up occurs. Oh, <laughs> Not quite. Okay, now, without question, I can't get into a fight. I probably should have taken the time to do a party heal move. Leap of faith! Where, where's my campfire? <laughs> okay, well at least I can go back. Please campfire. No campfire. Okay, well... This is kind of dire circumstances, but I have to. Alright, here we go. Ant first, as always. They're gonna do bombs, I won't be able to prevent it, so... Maybe one of them, actually. Oh, never mind. Come 
Okay, I did get, did get the sort of parry off. Out skills. There we go, nice. Oh. Okay, uh, Gal. Wait, not that. Skills, Nourish. Just so at least it's, it's a free heal. I might be able to pull off the team heal by the end of this. Alright, never mind. That's fine. Level up. If I'm going with, like, the archetypes, right? Like, I need to give more mana, so then fire is, like, I guess the spell I'm using constantly. Can't push this. Alright. Oh, that looks so nice. Ah, oh, thank you. Multiple things. Um, we don't have any team things, so okay. I mean, these are our most basic ones, so let's do that. This one's easy. I should have I should have done more fishing. But see now I kinda wanna go back and get those ingredients that were being guarded. But I don't think I can now that I've taken a dive off of this. That's in the way. There's probably a way to get rid of it. Okay, hold on. I'm just looking, just looking, seeing what's ahead. The good news is I'm next to a campfire, so it doesn't matter too much. Like, I can fight that and then go back to heal, which I will probably do, given how much I'm struggling right now. Stop it! Do that. Oh, 
Either way, this bomb thing is not gonna get stopped. Okay, I, I had figured out how to parry that correctly. All these things are so annoying. It's okay, I've been saving for the mass heal this whole time. Oh shit, it's gonna summon again. Well, this is just annoying. <laughs> Alright, they're all on full health, practically. Are you fucking kidding me? It wants- it wants to <laughs> summon again. Stop it! Okay. We need to all heal. I'm just gonna do this for now. Now, now's the time to do it. I won't be able to stop that other one. Am I just gonna lose this fight just because they seem to keep summoning over and over again? I'm gonna I'm gonna wait because I can do AoE attacks on that other one. I know what I'm gonna do. I can't block these, I haven't gotten the timing right. Okay, but now they're gonna eat, eat it. Both of them are going out now. Yeah! <laughs> Alright. Now we're talking. Everyone gets healed. This fight better be worth a lot of XP. Get out of here! Can't nourish, but that's fine. I'm 
Nice, there's the block. Okay, do this, so then the whole party is healed, and then finish the fight. <laughs> Jesus, fight. <laughs> That was only 144. Alright, well. Those ants are so damn annoying. Okay, I'm, I'm getting more and more used to it. Wait, there's stuff here. Oh boy! I don't know if I want to... Uh, I sh probably should, because the thing is, otherwise I'm always going to be on the back foot here. Oh no, that's great. Um, I love the part where they all require slashing to interrupt. So I won't be able to stop them. Sorry, I think I know what I'm gonna do. Again, same strategy. Fireballs to take them out. Okay, that that's gonna be the epicenter of the AoE. Oh, this is fucked up. Let's just do that. Okay, um... Wait, no, no, cancel. Do this. I have to stop this from happening first. I got the timing on the block. Too early. Dude. Okay, hang in there. This is so annoying. It keeps making me not... Because, like, I want to... I want to do this. Like that, see? Okay, we have to... Play defensively. They're gonna summon. There's no doubt about it. Okay, you know, cluster. Cluster up, that's fine. Wow, this is so obnoxious. They just keep rolling sword. Alright, I'm, I'm just gonna have to go with... I'm probably gonna lose the fight, just because they keep rolling sword. And I can't stop them. Okay.
out. But. I did the best I could. Okay. Jesus Christ. Oh, this game is not easy. Yeah, no, cool. Did I really just get unlucky and they just kept having sword attacks? Not a single one required a club, like it fucked me so hard. Ah, oh, I'm all the way back here. I think I might just have to fight things. Hang on. I think I have to get this again. I didn't save before that point. Yeah. Ugh. Okay. These ants are insanely brutal for what they are. Alright, but I think I got a tactic now. That's the tactic. I'm gonna save immediately after this fight, so don't worry. Well, not save, but just heal at the very least. I like it, the game's not easy. But yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna fight everything and just hope to grow. Okay, um two melee and a moon. Okay. Hang on. There we go. Okay. Focus on the ball. Probably should have waited because I won't be able to stop it. Hang on. Never mind. <laughs> it's gone. All right. Ooh, what is this? 
I don't care if this is very annoying to have to do this, but I just can't afford to go down. As soon as I get to that room with those ants, it's gonna be tough. Is there food up here? Yes. Huh, I don't think I've been here. Okay, well... A lid made out of rock. I guess. Alright, at least it's an upgrade for him, so that's that's a big plus from last time. Okay, I'm gonna try this again. There's probably a good reward down there if it's being guarded like that. Oops. Okay, I'm ready. See, that's more fair. This is normal now. One of them is going to get it off. Um, I'll let the right hand side get it off. Because then I can just use fire. Oh wait, both of them are going to get off because that's... Ugh, bludgeon, I forgot. Okay, it's fine, I'll just use fire to take out the side there. That's all we want. Nice. Okay. Just focus on the one. Can't get the timing right on this thing. Shit. Okay, hang on. Okay. Stop the summon. Both kind of low. I'm gonna rely on fire for the next skill, that's why I did that. Okay, and now hopefully. Hang on. Shit, it doesn't affect both of them. Um...
Alright, let's just do it on this one, it's fine. Wow, that doesn't give me enough time to block it. <laughs> Alright, there we go. Ugh, that fight sucked. This had better be worth it. There's a chest here, so it's gotta be worth it. Yes, it was worth it. Okay. This is why they, what they meant by optional fights. Okay, nice. I'm definitely going to save. Oops. I'm gonna try and get to the next area, and then I'll move on to the last of us. As much fun as I'm having with this, I need to start that. But this is gonna be the lineup for a little while, it's like those two games. Balance it out as... If I'm gonna play something horrific, then I need something the opposite of horrific. Okay. I feel like we're pretty close to the next town. Got here in time. Hey, cat. Yeah, you did. I've just been playing this for the past few hours. It's a lot of fun. If you're into RPGs, that is. Okay, now it's these guys. Ugh, okay. Well, that's just unfair. That attack's just gonna go off. There's no way I get both of them. I don't know, maybe it might work. We'll see. Oh, no, it does work. Okay. And then... Okay. Dude! That worked. Okay. Tactic worked. Uh, what's here? There's a signpost. The fishing like the outpost. Okay. The outpost is probably where we want to be. Um, there is a chest that I kind of want, so let's just see. It looks like there's a hole up a pathway. I'll fight the ants because I, I need experience. I, I think this is a game where I can't just skimp out on fights. I have to do them and just get good. Need to get good at block. I haven't quite gotten the timing. Oh, Zale doesn't have combo. Okay, that's fine. Heal yourself. We'll be fine. Oh. Well. There's no sense in using that. For a weakling, just do this. Alright, we're done.
Oh, it's the end of the area. Okay, well... This music just reminds me of Stardew, it really does. I don't have to fight those ants again. Hard shell. Okay. I see. This is more important than you would think. Having food is pretty crucial. It's the it's the plucky instruments, I think, but it also has like a, a similar a similar melody. Like it's not similar in the sense that it's like a carbon copy, it's more it has the same vibes, it's probably like the instrument choice, it's just... It makes it sounds pretty similar. I don't mind it. It's not a critique, it's just a comment. Damn, that one's hard to catch. I just want to catch one more. Just hang on. Ooh. There we go. All right. Ah, accident. <laughs> I guess <laughs> since I'm here. That's fine. Let it go. Ah, oh, damn. This probably means that this will reset and I have to fight again. Yep. Yeah. Okay, try and get past them. It's fine. Look, someone's over there. We should ask the directions. She looks busy. Ah, I'm sure it's fine. Hello. There's uh, something special about that big rock. Yes, come look at this. It's... This looks like... Nah, that's my, my imagination. Ahem, so what are those? Fascinating is what they are. These runes are the oldest form of writing known to us. Who's us? Traveling historians, of course. Or at least, what's left of them. No way, you're a traveling historian. Nice to meet you, my name's Gal. Nice to meet you too, I'm Teeks. So... Are your friends always this quiet? <laughs> nah, Val and Zale are fun. They've just been sealed away to study in the sky for too many years. Magic hair? Enchanted cloth pieces? Your solstice warriors. We, I. 
I knew it. Adventurous spirits fated to travel unravel mysteries unknown, pierce them in battle, and encounter countless forgotten artifacts. A traveling historian's best friends. I mean, well, someone's excited, <laughs> and we thought Gal was something. Hey guys, Teeks has an offer for us, and I think it's worth hearing her out. Sure, what's up? I'm not sure how to explain it properly, it's about my book. Why don't you eat with us tonight, Teeks? This place is perfect to set up camp. Oh well. Don't be shy, we're happy to have you. Yeah, plus, you have to try Gal's cooking. I. Okay, thanks. That's it, one stew coming right up. Dude just never relaxes. Thanks again for the food, Gal. You really are a pretty good cook. Glad you liked it. You're welcome to join us again anytime. So, you're the very last traveling historian? At this point, I might as well be the first. It's been so long since all the lore grimoires were burned. The what now? Lore grimoires. Every traveling historian has one, or had one, I suppose. They're enchanted books that write themselves by touching artifacts with stories to tell. Well, a traveling historian's duty is to make their lore grimoires as full as possible before passing it on to a new recruit. There used to be a guild and a whole bunch of us, but now there's just this believer here. Which leads to what I've been meaning to ask. Shoot. Well, you see, the best thing a traveling historian can ask for is adventurers who keep an eye out for them. I don't have a way to pay you, but... If you wouldn't mind grabbing any artifacts you stumble upon your adventures, I'd be happy to share stories with you. Sounds fun, but how will we find you if you're always traveling? Don't worry about it, I'll just drop by your campfire whenever you're out in the open. It's the perfect settling... Oh, it's the perfect setting for telling stories. Story time by the campfire? Sign me up! Great, just bring me any artifacts you find and we'll see how my lore grimoire reacts. How many stories do you have so far? Just the one. It was empty when I found it, but... That's okay by me. I plan on discovering enough to fill an entire volume. That's the spirit. This first story wrote itself when I stumbled upon a very old pirate earring. That's when I knew I was holding a real lore grimoire. They were thought extinct. What's the story about? A ghost pirate ship called the Vespertine. Ooh. I can read it for you if you want. Feel free to ask. It's probably going to reveal important stuff, maybe. Like, we're probably going to go near the ship. Oh, I have control. Want to hear a story? Sure. The Vespertine. Of all the recorded hexes and acts of bewitchment, few are as dreadful as the curse of the Vespertine. This story takes us back to centuries, to a time when a certain band of pirates ruled the series. Stormcaller was the name of their captain. He was the most powerful wind mage the world had ever known. And their navigator, Hortense, remains to this day the shrewdest mariner on record. Combining Hortense's skills and Stormcaller's magic, some say their ship was faster than light itself. The crew went on many adventures and accumulated countless riches until one day the inevitable happened. Hortense, whose first love was music, announced that she wanted to quit the pirate life and devote herself to her art full time. Ever a firm believer that the real treasure is the treasure one finds along the way, Stormcaller took her resignation harshly. Utterly insulted, he stopped conjuring wind for the sails, and locked the ship right in the middle of the ocean. And we shall remain here, he said, till our navigator gets that silly out of idea out of her head. But Hortense's had already, Hortense had already made her final decision. Days went by, both of them sulking while their crew begged that they reach some resolution. First they ran out of patience, then out of food, and eventually out of drinkable, drinkable water. Then one day after sunset, the pirates, driven mad by hunger and their thirst, mutinied and made their captain walk the plank. And as he sank into the abyss, Stormcaller cursed his crew and conjured an eternal prison. In the sea of nightmare, he would channel a deadly storm for them to endure forever. Over centuries, the crew members lost their minds to the ghastly place until only Hauntheads remained. To this day, the battle goes on in the Sea of Nightmares, Stormcaller's hatred pitted against the Navigator's sheer will. Some say Stormcaller's fury will one day sink the ship, 
while others believe he will eventually bow to the indomitable portents. Legend has it, she gets a short break once a day for but a few seconds at the precise time the curse was first conjured. Countless sailors and fishermen have since reported sightings of the legendary ghost pirate ship that appears at dusk. They call it the Vespertine. While some have half a mind to climb aboard in search of treasure, most avoid sailing at dusk for fear of being sucked into the sea of nightmare. The end. We might come across that ship. Okay. Let's see what I can make. Nothing. What? How is this possible? Wait. Huh? How come I can't make that? Oh, because I can only carry 10 food. That explains it. Well, okay, that's fine. Rest. A boat ride to Wraith Island? That might be a challenge given to the situation with the lift. Probably nothing you can't figure out. Which way is it? East of here along the path. Mind if I stick around for now? We have the same destination. The more the merrier. Wait, Teeks joins the cargo? Oh. <laughs> okay. Alright, I think this is a good stopping point for this now. I feel like if I go any further, it's probably going to be another hour. I don't know. Before we get to the next destination. So this is a good stopping point. I'm really enjoying this a lot. It's great. It's just... In that realm of fantasy games that I enjoy, so... Especially since it's pretty similar looking to Chrono Trigger and Secret of Mana and a bunch of all those other games that I like. But it's its own thing, so... We'll do more of this tomorrow at some point. Anyway, if you're watching this later on YouTube, thanks for sticking around to the end. Hope you enjoyed, and if you want to support the channel, just click buttons like the ones with the thumbs up button. It does help out a lot. Thank you to those that do do that. Or if you want to watch me play something else, two other videos have probably popped up by now. But yeah, till next time, see you YouTube.